Well, hello there. So Notion just launched a brand new feature called Suggest Edits. And this is gonna be great news for anybody who's used Google Docs in the past, especially in a collaborative manner, and who wants to move their workflow over from Google Docs to Notion. This is gonna be a pretty quick and dirty video so I can give you all the details as soon as possible. But basically, you can now suggest the creation and deletion of blocks on a Notion page. And the suggestions look pretty much like comments they're over here on the right side. And if I want to, I can go ahead and approve or reject a suggestion. But to approve a suggestion, I do have to have can edit permission or higher on the page. So here I'm actually logged into this workspace under a guest account and I only have can comment permission. If I go over to this other tab here, I'm logged in as my admin account and then go to the share tab and show you that this uh, hello at flyletter.com guest account has can comment. So with can comment ability, I can go up to the three dot menu and I can suggest edits. And now this works largely like it does in Google docs. If I want to, I can come down to any paragraph here. I can hit the plus button and I can suggest any of these blocks to be created on the page. So as you can see, we have a pretty small selection compared to all the blocks available when we're actually editing a page. It more or less boils down to basic text blocks. So we have text, we have to-do list, we have our headings, bullet lists, and numbered lists. Uh, and I will note right now that with to-do lists, we can suggest their creation or deletion. We cannot currently suggest that a to-do list box be checked or unchecked. So if I go with text just like this, I can go ahead and suggest lots of gobbledygook. And then if I'm logged in as somebody who actually has the ability to make edits to this page, I could be a guest, I could be a member, I just have to have that can edit permission or higher, I'm going to be able to uh, accept these suggestions. So now I have this in my script instead of what I had before. Of course, I can go back with uh, Command Z or Control Z if I want to undo that. I can have discussions on the suggested edit as if it were a comment. I can add reaction emoji. So this is really sort of an evolution of the comment ability we've had for a very long time. Uh, and now it just allows us to actually see what suggested edits would look like on the page. Now, there are some limitations to suggested edits right now at launch. If I go back over to my guest account, I can sort of show you what some of those are. Uh, number one, I cannot suggest the creation of a child block underneath a block where other child blocks don't exist. Now that might sound like a bunch of gobbledygook, so I'm gonna put it in another way. If I want to have an indented bullet list on here, if I wanna suggest that, I can't do it because an indented bullet list item would be a child block of this bullet list item block. I can enter down from it and I can suggest another bullet list item within the context here, not indented. But if I wanted to suggest an indented bullet list item, one would already have to exist. So if I come down here and I make this indented, now, over in my guest account where I'm suggesting, a child block array has been created beneath this block, and now I can create additional items if I want to, just by uh, sort of entering down. Now, there is a little bit of jankness that I'm noticing right upon launch. Like, I can't just enter down from this block. I have to actually press the plus button, get a blank block there, and then when I choose bullet list item, it actually creates this blank block here, and my list starts here. So, the sort of uh, way this is presented, the actual UI here or the display is a little bit weird. And that leads me into my next point. Right now, it doesn't seem like we have the ability to hide the suggested edits without actually dealing with them. Now, I'm not a huge user of Google Docs, so I'm not sure if that's already a feature over there or not. But here in Notion, if I have edit access to this page and I want these suggested edits to get out of my hair, I just don't like these blue highlights for some reason, I either have to approve these edits, which will actually change the page, or I have to go through and reject them one by one. I don't yet see a way to actually go in here and just hide all the suggested edits. And I would suggest to Notion that we get that ability in the future. I think that would be pretty sweet. Going over some other limitations and useful things to note about this suggested edits feature. As somebody who is suggesting, I can actually suggest the deletion, not only of text, so I could suggest this deletion right here, but I can also suggest the deletion of blocks. So if I want to, I can say, hey, let's just get rid of this entire first sentence. And and maybe let's even just get rid of this entire page here, because as I've talked about in many other videos, uh, pages that exist on other pages, these are called child pages or sub pages, are blocks 
on their parent page. So as somebody suggesting an edit, I can actually suggest the deletion of that page. And then when I go in again, as somebody who has edit access, I can go into that page and I'm going to see here in the sort of page level comments area, a suggestion to delete this entire page. Now, right now it says uh, suggestion delete block. And I think that's a little bit ambiguous, a little bit confusing, uh, might lead to the deletion of pages that people don't actually want to be deleted. So I'd make another suggestion to the notion team, this I think should be changed from delete block to delete this page, just so it's very, very clear that if I click this checkbox here, I'm going to delete the entire page, including all of this stuff on here. Okay, going back to suggest mode, and I can actually turn this on even as somebody with edit permissions. Now I'm suggesting I'm not going to be making any real edits. Uh, if I want to, I can make suggested edits in table cells. Again, this is just regular text inside of a cell of a table. So as the suggester, I can basically manipulate it like I could with any other bit of text. Something that I can't really do, and I'm going to switch back over to my guest account to demonstrate this, is make a lot of suggestions on databases. And I know I put a database in here somewhere. I think it's at the bottom of this page. Ah, yes. So if I'm suggesting, even if I have permission to comment or even edit on this database, I cannot suggest property deletions, property additions, and I also can't suggest changes to property values. So if I wanted to suggest that we change this tag from film to animation or something like that, I would not be able to do that. Maybe we'll get that in the future, but for now, we don't have that ability. Um, another thing to point out, and this goes back to that inability to create child block arrays. If I come into this page here, and again, this is a new page, so I would need to turn suggest edits back on, I'm not gonna be able to suggest any edits to the title, and I won't be able to suggest that any new blocks be created on this blank page. The reason for that goes back to the fact that pages themselves are blocks. So the content on a page is an array of child blocks within the page block. And because we don't already have an array or basically a collection of child blocks started, I cannot suggest the creation of a new one. Now, if I go back to the account that can actually edit this page and I go and find the page that we're on real quick and I create just a blank block with a period, now we've got that array started and we can start suggesting additional blocks underneath it. Let's call this block llamas. Obviously that should be approved. And if we go back, we can approve it like it should be. One last little demonstration before I move on to my critiques. Uh, if I have a callout block right here, you can see that I actually have blocks within this callout block. And these are child blocks of the callout block, much like an indented bullet list item is a child item or child block of a non indented bullet list item, or at least one indentation level up. If I get rid of all of this stuff in here, including the horizontal rule, which is the block itself. Now, if I go back and I'm suggesting edits to this page as my guest account, I'm not going to be able to suggest the creation of any blocks inside this callout. Again, I've gotten rid of the child block array. It needs to be created with at least one item that already exists before I can suggest the creation of additional items or suggest deletions or do anything else. So wrapping up a few thoughts for future improvements for the Notion team. I think this is a huge step in the right direction, especially for collaborative teams, people who are often working in Google Docs on documents that need a lot of approval or edits or eyes on them. This is Awesome. Moving into my critiques and suggestions for future improvements for the Notion team, my number one request would be the ability to temporarily hide the suggested edits on a page. If I'm the person that has can edit access on this page and there's a whole bunch of suggestions, this can look a little bit crowded, a little bit messy, and I might be in a place where I just want to look at the original draft without going through those suggestions. So I'd love to be able to come up here and have an option to hide suggestions, at least on a temporary basis. Beyond that, I think it would be cool if we could suggest edits on other things other than those basic text blocks. Maybe suggest cropping on images. Uh, that would be really, really useful for Notion sites, builds, and drafts in the future. And especially, I think it would be cool if we could actually suggest changes to database properties. So for example, maybe we are a filmmaking team or a video making team on a YouTube channel, and we have this B-roll database here, and I've got somebody who is suggesting different ways to either film or gather B-roll 
multiple items. We could actually go in and suggest, hey, instead of filming this, why don't we go ahead and do an animation or maybe go get some footage from Getty Images. Of course, we can go into the page and we can add a comment just like that, but I think it could be pretty cool to see suggested edits across a range of pages here, and that might be more efficient for certain types of teams. Anyway, that's my coverage of this feature. I think this is a great step in the right direction. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you are curious about other new Notion features that have come out recently, I've got a video right here on eight of them. You might have missed some of them, so check that out if you want to stay up to date. I'll see you in the next video.